And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we're at the end of the group stage here at the Euros. It's France versus Poland. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important that they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Sleesh. Zielinski. And France come away with it. Kylian Mbappe. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Zielinski just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw in. Mbappe. And now Zielinski. And play halted, free kick given. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Dembele. Giroud. Mbappe with it. France couldn't hang on to it. Mbappe. Mbappe. Poland with the ball once more. Nikola Zalewski. And out of play. The pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Aurelien Chouameni. Now Giroud. Dembele. Now Rabio. Rabio. And Poland regaining possession. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Mbappe. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Mbappe. A chance then for the respective manager. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Giroud making that run and succeeding. Zanevsky. Svidersky. And intercepts again. Here he is, man! Keeper did his job to begin with. Surely! Here he is, man. Here's Mbappe. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And nothing comes of it. Now with Rabiot, and high quality defending. Well, he's certainly not alone. Turan. On to Mbappe. Must take the lead here. And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top class reaction from a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. And over the byline, goal kick coming up. Kenziora. Sleesh. Bartosz Schlich. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And the pass deftly cut out. Well, time is running out to get this winner. But the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. So much focus within the team. And a chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Time for a change then. Kylian Mbappe. The 
and the referee is going to add on four added minutes. And with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have the moment over the course of the 90 minutes, but it finishes in a... And a warm welcome to this first knockout round game here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray. Sitting next to me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's a game that on paper has plenty to offer. It's France and they take on Turkey. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents... Oh, surely! It'll be a corner. Keeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Ibrahima Konate. Well, who could possibly forget France at the last Euros and the classic round of 16 meeting with Switzerland? They led by three goals to one, they got pegged back to 3 3 and ultimately lost on pen. Can he do it to take the lead? And there it is 1 0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Chalanolu couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Rabio. Now Griezmann. Mbappe. Kukchu, back to Konu. Chalanolu. And danger averted, well read. It's a splendid run by Mbappe. Aurelien Chouameni. Now Rabio. Mbappe. And the danger clear. And the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Mbappe. It's gone. As you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So underway again and a 2 0 advantage here. So the whistle. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Rabio. Dembele. He ran the situation defensively and did his job. Mbappe.
but this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And into the last 30 minutes now. Fine run from Mbappe. Opportunity, and that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle it. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Marcus Tuham. Given away by Rabio. Rabio. 20 minutes to go in this one. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Dembele. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, no damage done. Unal. And they need to get tighter. Well, that is a moment he would love to have back because it really was there for him. Ibrahima Konate. Aurelien Chouameni. Now Griezmann. Turam. Griezmann. Rabio. Marcus Turam. Welcome to this quarter-final encounter here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, and sharing commentary duty with me on this massive occasion is Stuart Robson. Plenty of excitement ahead of this one. It's France up against Portugal. Well, what a game we have in store for us today, Derek. Both these teams have really good players, slightly different styles of play, and there's so much at stake. Let's hope they both perform at their best here. Pepe, Fernandes, they've regained possession. Rafael Leao. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Mbappe. So can he put them in front? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Rafael Leao. Here's Ronaldo. The ball with Ottavio. Leao. The outcome is a goal kick here. Cristiano Ronaldo, Rabio, Mbappe, Mbappe, the referee felt he had to blow the whistle, well not enough subtlety about that free kick I'm afraid, and he did well to cut it out, Chance. And the referee 
referee blows the whistle, it is a free kick. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. And never in any doubt from the keeper. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Hernandez. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Mbappe. Making progress is Kylian Mbappe. Well, it came to nothing in the end. France with the ball again. Mbappe. Now Rabio. It's with Giroud. For match. On the ball, Rafael Leal. With the owner of the silver hatchback of the license plate, GR. Well, they win the throw following that challenge. Please contact your so making the substitution now. Bernardo Silva. Diogo Dallo. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Silva. And he stopped them in their tracks. Griezmann. Mbappe. Onto Turam. Mbappe. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. To give them the advantage. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Substitution time it is here. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Silva. Bernardo Silva. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on. What a noise we've got. It's going to be a throw in for Portugal here. So, three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Three minutes of added time. Bernardo Silva. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Short corner it is. And under pressure, that was a fine play. And it's all over on a big day for France. They put their place in the last four here at the European Championship. Yes, it's a close contest, but one I think they just about deserve to win. They did play the more creative football. They did try and press the ball high up the field when they could. And they showed... Hello and welcome to our coverage of the semi-final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me with microphone in hand is Stuart Robson. Excitement levels are off the charts, it must be said. It's Spain versus France. Well, what a matchup between these two excellent teams. Both have played really well to reach this stage of the tournament, but which one is going to go through to the final? I think this could be really close today. Can he put them in front? Nicely saved.
opportunity here. And a goal! The opening statement of the semi-final. How important can that prove to be? Mikel Marino. Rodri. Morata. And Spain unable to hold on to the ball. Kylian Mbappe. Promising move this from France. Spain recovering possession well. Torres. Chouameni. Now Griezmann. Mbappe. This attack looks highly promising. Ferran Torres. Almost at half time, it's going the way of the visitors as things stand. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. In dropping tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, that's advantage France after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Grimaldo. It's with Mikel Marino. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Conate. Dembele. Griezmann. Giroud. Mbappe with it. And a goal! They've extended the lead! Well, plenty of time remaining. This is far from over. But they're well on course for a place in the final. And a substitution in the offing. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Pedri. They've regained possession. Mbappe. Good piece of defending. And a textbook interception. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Mbappe. Mbappe. Danger averted. Kunde. Griezmann. Aurelien Chouameni. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And the yellow card for that, Stewart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Ibrahima Konate, Griezmann, Mbappe, five minutes left. Well, he keeps going. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Ferran Torres. And the referee blows the whistle that every French fan wanted to hear. France are through to the final here at the European Championship. And this is the game we've all been waiting for. The final itself here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. I'm Derek Ray sitting high above the halfway line and next to me ready to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. This should be fiercely contested. It's England versus France. 
Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. And a struggle for France to keep the ball. Well, it's no surprise that France are here in the decisive match at the Euros. That perhaps was to be expected before a ball was kicked in anger. But they have really delivered throughout the competition. And now they will want to make sure they take the final step. Well, for me, they've been the best team in the tournament. They've got good defenders. They try and dominate midfield. They've got some great attacking players as well. The manager knows exactly what he wants from the team. They've been here before. I expect them to be European champions. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? 1 0 then. Connor Gallagher. Saka. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Bukayo Saka. Okay. Mbappe and England have it back Walker Rabio Giro Mbappe with it oh big chance oh no couldn't beat the goalkeeper And the danger clear. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. The first official has indicated there will be a minimum of one minute of added time. Bellingham. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. And the ball is moving again, with France looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance here. Good move in the making from France. Nicely timed tackle. Uh, you've got to savour such moments. Chouameni, Dembele. England recovering possession well. But tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Just the challenge that was required. Connor Gallagher. Rabio. France looking dangerous here. Can he put it away? And he clears the danger. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Mbappe, will it be? He succeeds in clearing it. Foden. Yes, man. Kunde. Marcus Tuhan. Plenty of support here. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Mbappe. No danger now. Well, still pushing forward. It's a matter of whether or not they can come up with an equaliser. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Jude Bellingham. Yes, man. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant.
throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserving champions, no doubt about that. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Portugal, and they take on Czechia. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out there running before you know it. Anticipation a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I always think it's fascinating to dissect Portugal ahead of a big international tournament. Euro winners back in 2016, beaten finalists in 2004 when they lost against Greece. How about this incarnation of Portugal? How well equipped might they be to win it all? Well, what I like about Portugal is they've got attacking quality all over the front area. When they do get the ball into the final third, they get crosses into the box, they've got players that can attack it, but they're also good defensively. They're well organised, they're difficult to beat, so I think they can have a very good tournament here. Klojek. Tomasz Socek. And take it away, he won the ball. Portugal looking dangerous. But the danger of Burton for now. Svanchara. Fine work from Portugal to win back possession. Well, it could be on for him here. Opportunity still there. And the header just wide of the mark. Polish in the right place to cut out the pass. Joao Cancelo. Here's Ronaldo. He's in behind. And just slightly offside. The electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Can they forge ahead? Ronaldo untidy with the ball. And so it is. The first half story has been written. So back underway. And an intriguing second half in prospect. Socek. Sadilek. Otavio, Palinha, Cristiano Ronaldo, Silva, Leal, it has to be, superb chance, St. Carabans did his job, 
Stanislav Krejci, Sadilek, Tomasz Socek, Antonin Barak, David Dudera, Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva, Ronaldo on the move. He ran the situation defensively and did his job. Polish. David Dudera. Barak has it. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Otavio. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Well, it's one pass after another. Must take the lead here. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Both substitutes have been getting ready. Will come on at the same time. Well, not the best clearance. Really vital interception here. Antonin Barak. Pepe. And there goes the final whistle. Well, they have to settle for a point each. At least both sides are on the board, Stuart. Well, it was a fairly even contest. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it should be a big test for both countries. This is their second game at the Euros. It's Turkey up against Portugal. Well, this could go either way, Derek. Both sides know that a win could put them in a good position. A loss, and they'll be under pressure. This group is wide open at the moment. Thinking there. Considerable moment. He's in here. Can he convert? Oh no. And that's a really disappointing effort from there. Chalanolu. Rafael Leao. Ronaldo, can he put them in front? Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. And a corner kick for the referee's verdict. In it goes! The opening goal of this contest! So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Ronaldo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good looking attack launched by Ronaldo here. Ronaldo. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again. It goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And I have to say, the finish from Ronaldo is just brilliant. He's such a good technician. It's a wonderful goal. So, back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Chalanoru. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in there. Bruno Fernandes. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and the visitors are prospering. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. The first half here comes to an end. Underway again, and certainly dazzling football from Portugal in the first half. 
Will it be more of the same in the second? Bunal. Kukchu. Terem Aktur Kolu. Plenty of support here. Palinha. Cristiano Ronaldo. Chavanolu. Bunal. Now we're into the final half hour. And winning it back. Akhtur Kolu. How could he take them on and beat them? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, making it simple for the keeper in the end. Chalanolu. Chalanolu. It will be a goal kick here. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Mado Silva. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. And it will be goalkeeper's ball. Kukchu. And there goes the final whistle. And it ends in defeat. Not the Turkish story the players were hoping to write.
and a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football, and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Pulisic. Milik. And on to Pele. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Pele. Liverpool come away with it. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Can he put them in front? And he fought at the attack with a masterful tackle. And Liverpool regaining possession here. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Pulisic now it's with Milik Di Maria Berghaus Arcadius Milik and doesn't have to do it on his own Berghaus and now with Pulisic Hila intercepting it intelligently taken by the referee well he knew he was going to get booked it's a poor tackle really and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game now please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form and offenders will be removed from the stadium and may face prosecution So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Milito. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Milito. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And putting pay to the danger. Manuel Akanji. So half an hour remaining. An effective challenge. Diego Milito. Arkadiusz Milic. Well, it could be on for him here. It's still alive. Good piece of defending. The right card. And with that, the attack fizzles out.
Shelby. Milito. Must take the lead here. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And cleared away. Arkadiusz Milic, real chance. Big chance it is. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And a substitution in the offing. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Di Maria. Tigers against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. But quick thinking defensively. And there's the final whistle, the big headline, defeat for City. What did you make of this? Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat. Nor the manner of it conceding so late on. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It is Manchester City up against Bayern Munich. Well, the atmosphere is building nicely here and we've got two teams who like to play good football. Let's hope we get a good game here. It should be. Del Piero. Del Piero. It's with Mats Hummels. Schick. Joao Felix. Given away by Bayern Munich. On to Di Maria. And the danger clear. Del Piero. Back with Shelby. Danger averted for now. Joao Felix. Schick. Can he put them in front? Can they keep it out? Well, you've got to give him credit for that piece of defending. Bayern come away with the ball. Marcel Zabitza. And now Rodrigo. Oliveira. City. Marcel Zabitza. And the ball taken forward by Tony Cross. He has options around him. Kerman. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. A change in the offing for City.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Diego Milito. Really good challenge. And Bayern have the ball once more. He's in with a chance. And Bayern, the recipients of the free kick here. Marcel Zabica. Rodrigo, and the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. 